polyroids. Mate, these are back. And I mean like properly back. More back than they've ever been back before. I mean, I did a video last year, I believe, where you know, I went through some old Polaroids and things, because I love them. I've been playing with instant cameras since like, I was eight. But there's something special about like, you know, each one of these photos is like a couple of bucks, right? And that you really take effort into it. You find something special to take a photo of. That's how photos used to be. Like you couldn't just willy nilly just take screenshots and do whatever and send them about. And the film is like everything for cameras. No film, no photos. Cause mate, like I got this banger from Cashies ages ago. It was a bargain. And the power that makes it work and to shoot out the photo and all that is from the battery that's in the photo pack. And at one point it was almost impossible to get hold of this stuff. Polaroid basically went bust. So I've got some Polaroid MP3 players here, you know, so good. And there was a company that was keeping this alive. And then like, I believe like they bought Polaroid and now Polaroid is back. Oh, it's coming in nicely. I can see me duck. In this world of VR and crypto, this is still magical. But like, why am I rambling on at this point, mate? It's because of this. A couple years ago, all I needed to do was to hop onto a, a particular website. If you knew where to get it, you could get it and you put an order in and you can get your delivery of your precious film for your silly wacky 80s camera. Well, uh, I didn't get this from some sort of special camera website overseas that takes weeks to get to me. I picked this up up the road at my local JB Hi-Fi. It is now in consumer stores. And now let me give you an idea of what a big deal it is that 600 film is so easy to get. So as you saw, mate, like this is me Polaroid Super Color 635CL. Basically, if it's got six in it, it uses 600 film. Here's a quick screenshot of Polaroids that use 600 film. It's called nearly every single one of these vintage ones. <laughs> and now because the film has the battery in it, every time you put new film in, it's got a brand new battery. Putting new film in one of these is almost like a refurb and most of these just wake up. Well, I imagine how many of you guys have one of these sitting in your attic and like you can just walk down to the shops now and just load up film and hit it. Arguably the greatest Polaroid camera ever. Oh yeah, the SLR 680. It's got a six in it. It takes 600 film. I've talked about this in my other Polaroid video, but you know, I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, different types. This is a rangefinder Polaroid. This is the one that you're more likely to bump into into your attic, you know, where you look down here. But the issue is you see that the lens is here. <laughs> so you're not actually looking down the lens. You kind of have to compensate. It can actually get tricky. And then with my, you know, beautiful SLR, not only does it have sonar autofocus, look at the flash. Everything moves. All right, this is nuts. <laughs> Blurring out of focus, but you see, you're actually looking down the lens. See that? Meaning what you see is what you're taking a photo of. You can see it in focus and it does this. Ah, oh, it's so neat. I mean, just to show you the difference of these two, mate, like, I mean, there's so many settings to these. Like, you really got to sit down and learn these beasts, especially the light and dark adjuster. That's like everything. And like, yes, there is some focus stuff you can do. Getting a good photo is tricky. Look, here's my crazy expensive one. And here's the 80s one I got for like 15 bucks or something. That has way nicer colors, but that one's in better focus. And notice I actually got this in the center. Yeah, that stupid range finder. Like, I'm just taking guesses. Again, I can actually actually see down the lens. I can see that. It's stupid range fine. <laughs> uh, right, and this is when the expensive guy just wins out. Look at this. It's too dark. I needed to play with the settings some more, but you know, you just shoot and hope, but she's in focus. That's a Frankie lady. And yeah, see with the rangefinder one, it's fixed focus. So if you get too close, mate, she don't the work. Well, the last one's good. I mean, like, you know, they're both in focus. Look at her in a hammock. She likes making bad smells in there. And then like, I had to get film and she started slithering away. So it's like, you know, Frank in motion. But yeah, mate, like the, the cheap old 80s one can still pull off some really good photos. It's just that like when it's literally dollars per attempt, you know, it's nice to know that it's in focus and you can see it in focus. Uh, just because I'm inspiring people to go digging through the attics looking for Polaroids. Uh, if you find some SX70 variants, you know, it's like the old one step and the original, you know, like this is the classic of classic. Um, it needs SX70 film, which is different from 600. You can still get it, but you tend to have to go on the website. It's not walk in and grab it sort of stuff. And I believe you can mod these for 600 film. It's a thing. There you go. I mentioned it. Ooh, how are we going? Uh, isn't that lovely? That's a keeper. But mate, here's how I know that she's back for realsies. A brand new one. Not a remake of the old ones, mate. A brand newy. I love that it's based on the one step. That's fun. I mean, this is iconic. This is brand new. I haven't been in here yet, mate. Like, this is first impressions. Oh, yeah. And look at this. Look, it's got its own type of film, this eye type, right? 
but it does take the 600 film, meaning that if you've got one of these new ones and you have a vintage one as well, you can just get one type of film and it would fuel all of them. Amazing. Where's the headphones? Micro USB. <laughs> I know Polaroid's old school, but like if you're gonna tack tech onto this, don't. <sighs> This is when old school isn't all that fun. Quick start guide. Bling, 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 bling. I'm just gonna go for it. Uh-huh, okay. I mean, fun time to show a reload. <laughs> this is the fun bit. On this guy, you pull this lever. She go down like that. Grab the sticker tab. She empty. And just to show you, there's the battery. And yeah, you probably wanna pull these apart for recycling. So, I mean, just something to keep in mind. It's a very wasteful hobby. Right, first bit of packaging. <laughs> More packaging. I mean, this is what's required. It's like a chemical bath in here. It's like light sensitive stuff. All with a shelf life and you know, it's, oh that smell. There's always something endearing or funny on this. And you chuck her in. Shaboom! And it spits that out and you're good to go. So I want to try something. It says it's compatible with the old 600 film. That means we can have a shoot off between these two, because, mate, this is a lot more expensive than this. And we'll see where we at. I mean, it's a lot more hollow. Um, <laughs> well, this is what the future's like. <laughs> Green. Orange. Something. Something's happening. Ah! Ooh! Ooh, it's got the tongue that stays all the way because yeah, you don't want to shake your Polaroid photos You actually want to keep them dark. That's how you make them look the best. So that's really good That's something you can mod on the older ones, but very nice the tongue -ga. So people who follow my other channels know that I've been working on a drum museum for years And so I've actually got some really weird sparkly looking shiny things to take some photos of to see ooh, You know where we at? All right, I've waited long enough. These take forever to warm up. <laughs> um, I didn't play with the light settings on this guy. I just kept it in the middle. I mean, you know, you're meant to really try and dial it in and whatnot, but you know, just comparing. Look at this ridiculous, stupid, dumb drum kit I need to talk about at some point and actually came from Cashies up the road. <laughs> 1970s. Uh, this one just got gloomy, you know, and there were no settings to do with it. And this one's, you know, it's a vibe. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about Polaroids is like the best Polaroids are still gonna have a vibe to it, you know, because if you wanted a perfectly done photo that's digital, you use your phone. I don't know, maybe unlucky. Uh, this was just a bad photo altogether, this just didn't work out. Yeah, this is a really, really sparkly drum kit, and you just see just a mess of nothing, and the SLR seemed to do a little bit better than the, the P now, it's just a murky dark mess. <laughs> My drum dungeon isn't that well lit, I mean, it is conventionally, but like, you know, for Polaroids, no. Ah, oh, that focus of the SLR. You can make out that Slingerland badge. Just can't quite, mm. I mean, keeping in mind that, you know, this is a lot more expensive with a lot more stuff going in for it. But that was also with the 600 film, which is like the same ancient stuff that, you know, the SLI uses. I took some photos with the new stuff. Yeah, the eye type film. Huh. Not for vintage cameras. Hang on a minute. Like a pop tart. <laughs> Look, a vintage camera. Oh no. Oh no. What's gonna happen? What's gonna. Oh, they got protections. Do they actually understand, like, to stop lunatics like me from just doing the wrong thing because you told me not to? That's incredibly responsible of them. I'm livid. Wait, wait, look, I tried again with the eye type stuff. It did seem to do a bit better. Yeah. You know, it was just a bad photo idea. You don't know until you do it. These take so long to warm up so you can actually see them, right? Ah, oh, the crispness of the lenses and the SLR. It's only a little bit. Like, you know, if you're doing fun vacation stuff or like really big scenic things, you know, like, yeah, super fun. But, you know, you can kind of see why people really like these. But, you know, they still look crappier than your phone from 10 years ago. Oh, this is what it looks like if you pull the film out without com fully completing it, you know, you just... It's not a big deal, that one's just gone. But yeah, to see that, the film is back in conventional stores that you can wander into and just go, oh, I'll grab another pack of that. Yeah, I do ask that you do it, like, not sparingly, but like, you know, you want to take photos of really precious stuff. Because you know, if you wanted a perfect photo, you use your phone. But I don't know, there's something special about it being physical. Maybe it's just my nostalgia, you know, growing up where taking a photo was precious and you had to wait for it and just having it go and spit out. But you know, the, the great cost and the waste involved, like you really want to make sure it's a good photo. Dig through your attic, 
you might just have one of these waiting and you just chuck a bit of film in it and it just wakes up. Um, some of these with flashes don't wake up because like the capacitor's dying. It won't shoot unless the capacitor's, you know, correct charge or something. Uh, try holding down the fire button for extra long and then it should work. And well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Because, mate, if you want to see more of my videos, you can check out Garbage Time, which is my car thing. And then, then like, the drum thing, which is my drum thing. And there's Hello, I'm Gaming, which is another thing. Like, there's just so much on Floatplane. I do streams. I make a lot of content. So, you know, if you want more videos, that's where they are. And, you know, mate, thanks so much. I'll we'll see you all next time. All right, you know Frank likes sticking her head out of a, like, silly hole here. Well, the opposite is also true, where she'll just stick her head into it. Like, she doesn't care, as long as her head's in the hole, oh, Frankie'd be happy.